Okay, two questions. Quarter moon. Okay, because I only saw a reflection, but wouldn't a quarter moon show you that if it was a reflection off of the sun, that the earth, okay, taking out the nut that's in the center, would look like two quarter moons, meaning there's an open space, maybe and possibly underneath the water, in which something can penetrate through because of a passage light in order to reflect off of the sun, off of the earth, and onto the moon, showing up a quarter moon on each side. Because no matter what you do, the minute you split something in half, there's going to be seeds somewhere, or it's all going to look like oranges. If it's an apple, you'll see it inside. If it's a nut, you'll see it inside. If it's an orange, you'll see a string going all the way through, connecting everything. These are your quarter moons. Comes with universal joints found on cars. Axis, spinal. You ever think of a dog leg in golf? But what about this dog leg? Take a look inside. See the dog? That's your number seven. If they want to curve it, they can probably make it look like a horse. This is what your hexagon should look like. It shouldn't look anything else but this. This is what you can do on square paper. Here, if you bring them together, these are all your knives. They become your army stripes of which way you're going to go, to the left or the right of the center, because when it's in the center, it shows a V saying five, 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 dead center, five, 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 dead center. Here's your dog, here's your nut. Um, the cane and Abel, the candy cane, I showed you this already. Here again, this is your hexagon inside of here. You see the way your V and V are stretched out between one line? That would be your 17 and 20, I'm assuming, in roulette. At the same time, you see your eyes your, are like gems. What do your eyes look like? What beautiful eyes you have? Your eyes are like something. I don't remember what the name is. Here's your 666. This is what it looks like. Three and three. Twelve is the minutes in basketball. And I'm, I forget injury reserve. Um, the one, three, and five. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. Um, what one, three, and five say. In the one, three, and five in the dice, they all have a center dot. In the one, there's no beta system. In the three, there's two. And in the five, there's four. So you get six out of the five. Um, out of the, out of the, uh, sorry. Um, out of the two, four, and six, okay, there are none. But in the three, there are two. And in the five, there are four. So you get six, okay, in the three, you have two extra. Put two on the side, and it's in the three dice. You have one in the center, two on the side. You take the five dice, you have one in the center, four on the side. You have the same one in the center, the other two you can turn around, you have six or two and four, the same way Rubik's works. I'm thinking. This is your three dice. And this is your six dice, okay? What happens now is this has nothing in the center, but once the one shows up, this will make it the highest dice because all other ones reflect the corners. So we're only going to talk about the three and the five right now, okay? Three and five have joining centers. There's two left over here that will duplicate inside of here. But there's four here and two here. Four and two is six equals four. Why? Because you have two different worlds, one up here and one down here. Although they're reflecting two different levels now, four on one level, two on the other level. As you turn four, you're reflecting of two. Now, I don't even like what I said. All I know is five and three is eight, okay? But the only ones that are on the outside are this one, this one, and four here. So eight equals six, or eight equals two, which is one quarter because of the two singles in the center. Does that make any sense to you, Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus? I'm painting. Thank you for watching this video. Did we get the universal joints and what it, what it means, the core with parts of motors and parts of cars and stuff, just pieces and parts? I showed you in here the way the eyes and there's a split at the nose, okay? There's really no bone here. Maybe our nose aren't made properly, but uh, it shows over here how they split between the two sides. That's why you can't go cross-eyed. Imagine if you took away the nose, you can see the left a little bit easier. Oh no, I can see right on by. Anyways, whatever.